In this video, I want to give you a tour of some octagonal windows that I've installed in a project of mine. I'm going to show you uh, why I like these windows, along with a trick for installing them in a way that I think is, is more secure than usual. These are openable windows. Uh, they have a crank handle, and the sash hinges on the top, so it swivels open at the bottom. The outside trim and the outside face of the sash are a solid synthetic material called Azek. Uh, that's one of the interesting things about these windows, and I'd just like to show you a bit about that more closely now. This is a side view of the exterior trim of the windows. It's pretty thick, I ordered these windows this way because I've got some fairly thick siding going on on the outside. Uh, it's cedar shingles on top of a rain screen, so I need uh, at least an inch of depth to accommodate that. You can see that the outside is Azek, and the inner parts of the window that you'll see are clear pine. Azek is the kind of material that can be painted. We're going to be painting ours, even though the ultimate color is white, but I think it's just going to make it look a little bit nicer and maybe clean up a little bit better, too, over the years. Here you can see the inside. This is the portion of the window that's still exposed around the sash, and this is the part that you'll see inside. So it's, it's wood on the inside where you see it. This two-part construction also extends to the sash itself. As you can see, the outer half is Azek, and the inner half, where you're going to see it, is wood. So you get the best of all possible worlds that way. So now it's time to get the windows in position, ready for installation. Like almost every other window, they need to be installed from the outside in a new construction situation because the trim is larger than the opening. So we're going to be hoisting these up onto some scaffolding and putting them in from the outside. After we do some more preliminary work to protect the openings, which I'm going to show you right now. Over the years, I've learned to become very particular about waterproofing the inside of window and door openings before windows go in, and, and that's what I'm getting ready to do here. Uh, I really don't like the idea of trusting the integrity of the building to the seal around the windows alone. Water is very sneaky stuff, and so that's why I'm cutting these strips of breathable, self-sticking membrane which I'm going to put around the inside edge of the octagonal opening that I've framed. Uh, you could do this for any kind of window you like, as long as the outside edge of the material you're adding overlaps the outside protection of the wall surface itself. So if you take a look here, you'll see that uh, it's a cloth-like material. It's breathable, so if water gets underneath, it can come out, um, but it's also sticky. So it, it sticks down, it protects liquid water from getting into the wood, but if moisture does get behind it, it can come out through the weave. So this is the unprotected opening right here. I've made sure that there are no nails sticking out. Uh, drywall's already on this opening on the inside, so I'm just going to peel and stick these pieces down one at a time in the right order, and the right order would be from bottom to top. That creates the right kind of overlap sort of a shingle-style overlap of all the pieces as they work together in this opening. You'll notice that the piece of material I've cut here is wider than the thickness of the wall, and that's intentional. I'm lining up the inner edge of the membrane with the inside surface of the wall, but there's extra so that it can go outside and overlap the outside of the wall so that it can mesh with the membrane that I've got out there. Now, of course, I've got to make some some slits here, some cuts, in order to round the corner of the oct octagon. Then I can just push that material down and stick it to the outside surface so that the whole thing is completely protected. Now it's time for the second piece, which of course overlaps the first, and it's installed in the same way. The entire inside edge of the window will just be covered like this in the same sort of pattern. With the window hoisted in place and pushed into the waterproofed opening, I'm just fitting some wedges here. Uh, the wedges allow me to orient the window so that the bottom and sides are perfectly plumb and level as they should be. And then later on, I'll be injecting some polyurethane spray foam in the gap around the outside. That foam does a lot in and of itself just to hold the window in place. So here's the completed window. We're still working on the project, but the window's in place. The area around the outside has been drywalled with a kind of cap trim assembly, and there we have it. 
One last thing before I go, we opted not to use traditional interior trim around this window, but instead a kind of a plastic molding. It covers the whole jam of the window and just curves out nicely to the surrounding wall. It's paintable and gives the installation a nice clean look. Uh, looks pretty sharp to my eye.